Well, I'm delighted to say, Neil Young, the new manager of Stockport County. Um, tell us about the job, what it, was it about the job that particularly appealed to you in the first place, Neil? Obviously the size of the club, I mean the history of the club you know, dictates already that um, how, how big a fan base the club has, you know, the history of, of what it's done both in the Football League um, and in non-league football. You know, it's a massive club in non-league football, one of the biggest if not the biggest. You know, and since I've been out the game at Chester, I've been working hard behind the scenes to, to look at the next project um, and obviously Stockport County was you know, high on the list. Um, it's, as I said before, you know, it's a massive club and so much potential here. I've seen this as, a, as an exciting project going forward. Um, you're always, you know, worried because there's that many good candidates in for, in for in for jobs, particularly big ones like this. But I've done a lot of hard work over 14 months. People might say, you know, you've been out the game. Why hasn't you been taking jobs? It's not a case of not taking jobs. It's a case of doing your groundwork. So if something exciting does come up, you're ready and ready to go. Um, you've got the tools, you know, to take you into that job interview. Um, but you know, really looking forward to. To taking over the club it's a massive exciting opportunity and hopefully you know we can bring success here you had phenomenal success really at chester what did you you put that down to because you obviously know what what it takes to win this division yeah we won the division i mean we won you know three championships on the bounce but you know that's that's done through a lot of hard work you know that just doesn't happen people say you know you're at chester football club you know you had two thousand three thousand people um, so you must have had the biggest budget, blah de blah. And you know, I'm not saying we didn't have a big budget, but when we obviously when we got to or a budget which was bigger than normal in that league, but I know when we got to the conference north that there was clubs paying a lot more money than us. Um, but it's not about it's not about money. It's about making sure you get value for money. You know it's through a lot of hard work. Anybody who knows me or anyone will know I'm out, you know, Tuesday, Saturday, Wednesday, um, even when I wasn't in the game, out the game for fourteen months that um, all the groundwork was put in for, for player identification and recruitment um, and that's what we did at Chester and we worked our socks off, we worked with a lot of good people um, you know we worked and we were supported, you know I've got a good support staff around me um, but mainly you know you've got, you've got to put the hours in, you've got to put the time in success just doesn't happen um, but you know I've put a lot of that down to you know working hard to, to recruitment wise and that's now presumably the phase that you move into almost immediately is, is player recruitment. Um, how busy are you likely to be in the next couple of weeks? I think it's going to be very busy. You know, we've got to organise friendlies and, and make sure mm. that they're the right friendlies for the football club because you can't just go in and there's got to be a plan to everything you do. And I think that that's key of, of the, you know, the success we've had both at Colwyn Bay and Chester. And we're building on that here that um, you've got to have a plan on how you do that. You know, and you've got to have the right people around you. you, you it's not just about the manager, obviously. You live and die by your decisions as the manager, but you've got to have the people and the support function around you to make sure you can be successful. Um, and you know these next few weeks will be busy. You know I know already because I've been here many times this season um, and last season, but I've been home and away watching Stockport for for a lot of the season and particularly in recent weeks. Um, so I've got a good idea of, of what we currently got here. Um, I've got a good idea of the contracted players that we have here. Um, but you know we're we're also well aware of the players that we want to try and bring to the football club, um, and now I'm, you know now I am the manager that gives me a little bit more of an opportunity to get out and, and and speak to players. But you know we've got we've got talent identified, both young, both experienced. Um, but you know I'm not going to go shouting from the rooftops. We're going to do this, that, and the other. Actions speak louder than words, and I've got to prove that you know we will we will be here to try and bring success to the football club. We know the pressure's on. The target is promotion in this next season, yeah. in your first full season in charge. Is the budget capable of delivering promotion, and are you capable of delivering that to the club? Well, I mean, I don't think I'd be sitting here if I didn't believe I was capable of, of, of giving the club promotion. Um, you know, as I say, we've got a very good staff here. Um, the budget for me is a very competitive budget for this level of football. You know, it's um, yet we do have a number of contract players from last season. Which you know does take up a fair bit of the budget at the moment, but that's something I've got to you know sit down and analyse. And as I say, a bit bit more ahead because obviously I know the players involved. Um, but you know, by adding four or five players to the group isn't going to bring us promotion. You know that's that's the facts. You know I'm not. Um, you know I've got to be upfront and honest that you know we do need a major turnaround in in, in the squad. 
you know, to be capable of, of achieving the promotion that we're looking to do. Um, so it's going to be a lot of hard work over these next, you know, two or three weeks in particular. But we won't go in too early with everything. So I don't want to give the fans false hope that we're going to come in and bring a raft of signs about getting the right signings at the right cost, because that's going to be key. You know, we've got to put a budget structure in here um, that takes us forward um, and make sure that, you know, that we have the best opportunity to bring the best players to the football club. And as I say, it's, you know, we have, there's a lot of work going on and we have a structure and a process to, to make us achieve that. You have um, a team in mind as well, yeah. don't you? It's not just you on your own. No, no, You've got a team of it. people. We're going to see a lot of new faces around the club, aren't we? Yeah, we hope, for, you know, again, while I've been away, you know, just, I've put a structure in um, that I would like to implement a, 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 a forward-thinking football club. And this, you know, thankfully that this is the opportunity that I've been given. Those people involved, Gary Jones, who's worked with me for the last, you know, six years, and you know, obviously my best friend, um, and you know, we're loyal, honest, and we, and we know each other's strengths and weaknesses. Um, I'm very happy to bring, you know, Mike Flynn, obviously an absolute county legend, um, and as part of that staff, you know, I think Mike will give us that little bit of continuity. I think you always need it mm. at any football club. I think if you go in there and try and you know, rip it up and start again. It can be a little bit, you know, we've got continuity, and obviously a link to the supporters as well. Um, obviously, you know, they only know me from from obviously from Chester, and um, obviously that will give us a little bit more um, continuity, as I say. But I think what we also bring into the football club is a scouting structure, you know, and I think that is missed out at most levels of football, not just at at this level. And I'm hoping, you know, we're bringing a new era, a new concept, and the fact that we bring Carl Garner in, it was. As head of recruitment, you know, Carl was working at Fleetwood Town as the non-league scout there, and I think if you look at his record, he brought a number of players through to Fleetwood Town who have obviously bought really big into into non-league players. And the more you see now, the more football league clubs are bringing non-league players through. There's a lot out there, you know, and obviously we bring Alex Hay as well. He worked for me at Chester. He'll mainly look at the opposition, um, the opposition scouts. Again, giving us all the tools we can. So on a Saturday or a Tuesday night. We've got the best opportunity of winning football matches because that's that's how you put smiles on people's faces by winning games of football and you know and as I say the club's got an ambitious five-year plan um, and I'm hoping um, that you know we can add to that and, and and take the club forward. And Mike Flynn now joining the coaching staff. I think him and Gary go back a little way, don't they? Yeah, obviously we played a lot against each other. Um, you know, and when they were coming through, guys at Tramie and obviously Mike here and other clubs. Um, Gary speaks very highly of Mike, and obviously, got, as I said before, we've got the continuity here. Um, you've got two lads probably between and played over 1,500 game, league games. Um, you've got myself, who's managed, you know, and for over 10 years, and and, um, and we've got, you know, in in their in their own fields. Carl has, has got a proven track record in, in bringing young players through, and identifying young players, and, and as is Alex. Um, so I think we've got, you know, a great structure. To take the club forward, and that's key. You know, we've got, we've got some. You know, we we hoping to make sure that the structure takes us forward and, and identifies the best players. You know, value for money is going to be, you know, key to what we do. Um, but more importantly, we need to bring success to this football club, and I think the fans will, will want that more than anything. Um, after, you know, a few years of of not winning um, like they would like. You know, and, and obviously coming from the football league, it can be a bit of a culture shock. You know, I've come from Chester, who, who were very similar, um, and it, you know, it can it can be a challenge. You've meticulously planned your career really over these last ten years or so. How has the, the sabbatical been for you? Sort of been out the game for, for nearly a year and a half. I know you've watched a, a lot of games. Has it been a uh, has that been part of the strategy for you? Has that been deliberate for you? It was deliberate in a way when I came out of Chester, yeah, and the fact that you know it was my decision to, to come out of there, um, and it was for that reason. I think most managers will tell you, and I think Alan Alan before me will tell you that once you're in and you're engrossed in the game, it's very difficult to to carry. You know, if you, unless you've got the people around you to do it, it's to get out and actually watch watch other teams, how other th things work. So to actually take a step back for the first time in probably 10, 11 years. Yeah. Um, and look at look at systems, look how other people do things, look at how, how clubs work, and to use my experience from that that I've taken from other clubs, um, it gives you that opportunity. So yeah, I've been out the game for, for 14, 15 months, done a lot of work in that 14, 15 months, 
um, to get myself ready, you know, for an opportunity if one came. And obviously, Stockport was top of the list really when, when we came out um, as, as, an, as an opportunity if it arose. So I'm a player. I'm in your dressing room. What yeah. can I expect from you? What is your what's your style of management, if you like? I think it differs. I think you've got to man manage different people in different ways. I think anyone who's played played under me will will will, will see that and, and vouch that we deal with players in different ways. I think that's how you get the best out of people. Not everybody's the same, you know. Some like the arm on the shoulder. Some like the shouting and the screaming. Although I'm not a shouting, and, I'm not a shouting and a screaming. I can lose me rag now and again. But I think it's the, the ultimate aim is to get the best out of the players, the best you possibly can. Um, and I think that's that's what we'll intend to do. But the first thing you've got to do is you've got to get the right players through the door and the people who want to, you know, go out there and, and put a shift in. I think any fans at any club and what I did notice in the time I was, you know, if if you're willing to go and put the effort in, you know, um, even if you are having a bad day at the office, technically, fans will forgive you for that. And we've got to make sure that everybody that puts a, a Stockport County shirt on, first and foremost, is 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 making sure that they put the the, um, the effort in. I know it's only your first day, but how many? additions to the squad do you think you need to, to make in the coming weeks? I think we need a, a fairly big overhaul, if I'm honest, if, if we're looking to be promoted and we're looking to go forward, you know, I think we do need, but you know, we have got seven or eight contracted players that I need to speak to first and and, and, and speak to and, and get their view um, of, of where we're at um, and tell them where I'm, I'm currently at. Um, but then, you know, we need to make sure that our, our recruitment is, is good um, it's concise in what we, in what we want to achieve, but you know we've got a way we want to do things, and we need to make sure that we're recruiting to that plan. There's no good me, you know, recruiting every Tom, Dick, and Harry, and, and having five centre midfielders and and no centre forwards, etc., etc. You know, there's got to be a plan. There is a plan um, for recruitment. People are identified, but as you know, at the moment, some of them players will be looking for conference or league football. So you know, it's about yeah, getting a few done early doors. And, and then waiting and then seeing if um, what we can do. But you know, as I said before, we've got a competitive budget, um, and I've got to use that to best advantage for the football club. I know Neil, you've been here quite frequently during the last sort of fourteen months or so. I've seen you at games, yeah. and, and I think um, you know you've bought into the five-year plan, which is is to get into the football league in that period. But you're well aware, the fans are well aware yeah. that they want promotion, they want instant success. How confident are you that that is something that, that can be delivered this year? I'm not one for, for 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 making promises because I think they can be quickly thrown back at you. Um, all I will say is that we were doing everything we can to be challenging at the top end of this division. Who knows what's going to happen with injuries? And but I know with the structure that we're putting in place, the, the talks I've had with the board here, and their plans, um, you know, we're all going to be working very hard together. And I think that's key. You know, you've got that togetherness to go forward. Um, I think it's a, it's it's an exciting time for the football club. You know, and I know probably people, may, some people may look at it and think, oh, you know, it's it's, but it's a case of to go forward. You know, where we need to stick together, we need to work together. And as I said before, you know, I can say all at once, actions speak louder than words, as the old cliche goes, and that's got to be done out on the football pitch. And I think once the fans um, see that, you know, what we're bringing to the football club, I, again, the only way they're gonna they're gonna see that is by by us producing on the pitch and. They're, they're going to be the, the key um, performance indicators, if you like, that, that shows if, if we're being successful or not. Well, Neil, I know everyone's behind you. Wish you all the very best. And once again, welcome to Ashley Park. Thank you very much.